Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to start using try.io and for beginners of course in 2024. So today we're diving into the world of automation with try.io, which is a versatile platform that empowers users to connect their favorite apps to and streamline workflows effortlessly. Whether you are a seasoned professional or just a beginner, you you would like to automate something on your journey. So your automation journey with Trayoff will offer you a lot of intuitive tools to help you out. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and sign up or log in into an account of Trayoff. Tray. So to do so, you'll need to go and open a browser that you'll need. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use whatever you have. Then go to this URL section. Make sure to type dot io and hit the enter button this should take you into the home screen or main screen of trade.io right away if you have an account of course just go to the top right corner here and click on login to login into your account if you don't have an account click on get started instead of course for example let's just go and click on get started here automate innovate grow connect your entire stack talk with an automation uh, automation expert or start a free trial so example for me, I'll just go and test drive tray a platform. So I'll just go and start a free trial. Here you'll need to add an email. So I'll just go and add that in here at gmail.com. And okay, so it seems like they need the work email, like a normal email, as you can see, like this wouldn't work. So as you can see, uh, you'll need to enter a work email. So make sure to go and do so. You can even get a demo as an example, and you'll need also to, to enter a work demo so or a work email so you can have the access to demo. Without it, you'll not be able to. Of course, if you have an account, you can just go and click on login to login into the trio or try.io right away. As you can see, you'll find yourself with something like that. So if you sign up for the demo, as you can see, they'll tell you, like, thank you. Can't wait to see you. Uh, at the next monthly platform demo so please check your confirmation email to find instructions on how to join as you can see in the meantime you can watch these records demo for example use case by team as you can see marketing sales customer success first you will need to go to your email as an example i did not use the work email because i just like sign up into the watch play on trial so here of course you'll need to go let me just go to spam just in case. Let me just go to all mails or all mails here. And let's see. So it seems like we still didn't receive an email. It's fine. So I'll just go and check it out after that. So as you can see, as they say here, they have like some small videos for you. So as you can see, intro, agenda, uh, how to use the case description, how to use like the case demo with Zoom, Salesforce and Slack. They'll basically show you how to automate, automate some stuff. Of course, I will not be able to show you the video for some copyright stuff. I don't know if they have copyright on their video. So as you can see, I'm just showing you some cuts from it. So as you can see, the platform will be something like that. You'll be able to start customizing and creating your workflows. As you can see, example, you'll be able to choose the trigger the conditions you'll be able to do like graph sets if you know what graph sets is and you'll be able to automate a lot of stuff like as you can see the trigger here on web uh, webinar completion as you can see on zoom this is going to be the trigger and here it's going to check is weekly demo like boolean condition if it's true it will go through here if it's false it will go through here here it should be a loop as an example so it will do something it will come back to loop things and yeah as an example here a condition also if it's false it will do this if it's true it will do this as you can see you have a lot of connectors here so you have branch boolean condition csv editor break loop uh, core workflow basically those things that it's going to be easy to learn you just need to familiarize yourself with it and you will learn it in no time. So it's actually very easy. It might be a bit advanced for beginners, but as I said, when you get used to it, you'll be good to go. Of course, you can even use this help button at the top right corner if you didn't understand any of those options to know how to do it. So just go and explore all the builder or the tray builder here. 
explore all the pro the options that they have and you can start creating your first workflow start by dragging and dropping the connections in connectors into the tree builder canvas to represent the apps that you want to integrate you can connect these apps connector to define uh, like the flow data between your apps and specify your actions that you want to automate of course you'll be able to configure each connector in action within your workflow to define trigger events conditions and subsequence action and you'll be able even to customize parameters such as data fields filters and transformations to tailor of course your automation to your specific use case and before deploying your workflow it's essential to test it through uh, to ensure its functionality if it's working or not as you can see you'll be able to activate or to debug your workflow in here or build it even you'll be able to use it so just go and try it out and see if it's function as expected you can even utilize the test tools here to simulate the workflow and then identify any potential like issues you can debug your workflow in here at the top uh, by troubleshooting errors and refining uh, like configurations as needed and once you're satisfied with the testing results it's time to deploy uh, like your workflow activate your workflow to start automating your tasks and processes uh, processes of course in real time and you can monitor its performance using the trio uh, the try AO dashboard and then of course you can make adjustments as necessary if something is not working as intended and as you become more familiar with trio of course you can explore its advanced features to unlock additional automation capabilities and just once you understand more you'll be able to create more complex like uh, things or automated stuff that will help you even more so you can experiment with condition logic like looping uh, error handling and even data manipulation to create some complex and dynamic workflow tailored to your specific needs so there you have it you've taken your first steps into the world of automation with treyo in 2024 whether you are simplifying repetitive tasks integrating applications or orchestrating like some complex workflow for you uh, Trey.io uh, empowers you to achieve more with automation so continue exploring learning and innovating to leverage the full potential of automation in your workflow and life and of course if you have any question or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do it as soon as possible and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one so thank you for watching and goodbye.